Hello, I'm Paul Zacharias, the owner of Spectrum Coatings. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you how well my aluminum coatings adhere to glass. The example mirror that is used in this video is a 20 inch mirror that needed to be recoated just after it was removed from my vacuum system because it had a surface defect that did not pass my quality control spec. The reason for this video is not only to show you how well my aluminum coatings adhere to glass, but also, more importantly, how this great adhesion is accomplished with no harmful adhesion layers. Let me first state how dangerous it is for an optical company to apply any kind of adhesion layer to your mirror, period. In the first place, if the optical company has the research, knowledge, and experience behind it, they know that there is a way to make aluminum adhere to glass, just like you will see in this video. The drawbacks of adhesion layers, whether the layer is an oxide or metallic, are far-reaching. So much as to cause me to place a disclaimer on my website explaining why some adhesion layers are not or just partially removed during the etching process resulting in surface anomalies that are unacceptable to me and my customers. Sometimes I must recommend that these mirrors may need to be reworked by a qualified optician. If considering the services of an optical coating company, the first question should be, do you use any kind of adhesion layer in your coating process? If the answer is yes, I would recommend not using that company to coat your mirror. Okay, let's move on to the video. What I'm going to do is apply a simple piece of clear cellophane tape to the mirror surface just at the edge. By the way, this is the only adhesion test that the government requires to be performed on front surface mirrors that are produced for the military. As you will see, it pales in comparison with the tests that I put my coatings through. Just a simple piece of clear cellophane tape. Okay, I'm going to stick it down there. Rub it real good. Make sure it's stuck on there real well. I've done this many times for the government. And now they require just you to just lightly pull. Just a light pull. And if it comes off, the, if the coating comes off, then the film fails. If it stays, then the film's okay. A very moderate test. The government doesn't expect much from these mirrors, I guess, compared to what I put my coatings through. What I'm going to do now is take a, um, a chem wipe, uh, uh, saturate it in a little bit of acetone, and wipe and get that residual gum off, off of the, uh, the surface of the mirror. And move on to the next test. Okay, what I have here now is just a piece of masking tape which is far exceeds, far exceeds a piece of cellophane tape, if you know anything about adhesives. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take and make sure that that is stuck really good. Now it's at the edge now. That's where most coatings start to peel. And I'm going to take this piece and snap it off. Not just a, a slow pull like the government expects, but I'm talking snap it and try, trying my hardest to get that coating off. As you can see, it left a little bit of adhesion behind. A little bit of acetone, a little bit of Kim White um, folded flat um, will uh, remove uh, that adhesion layer. By the way, that will remove um, any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, thumbprints as well. Now, I'll show you how to do that either in this video or in another video. Now, let's move on to the next test, which is something that is far surpasses anything that you'll see in the industry. We're talking a two-inch piece of normal duct tape just bought from the store brand new duct tape two inches okay I'm gonna put a big piece of this on my mirror Remember, this is a 20 inch mirror and uh, I'll do the same thing I am going to make I'm gonna mash down on this tape on the edge all the way around and I'm gonna make sure that you see how well this film is adhering okay well I'm gonna snap it okay what do you see? You don't see the film removed. What you see is the gum left behind 
Actually, the, the gum was pulled off of the uh, cellophane tape, which is a testimony to how well my films are adhering to this glass. Okay, as you can see, it did not remove the aluminum layer. It did not remove the protective quartz overcoat. All my mirrors have that overcoat. Um, after wiping with the acetone and chem wipes, which are non-destructive regardless of what you may have heard. I've been cleaning optics since about 1981, about 27 years now. And uh, these uh, materials work really well. I appreciate your time, and uh, I appreciate you watching this video. And... Uh, I appreciate you giving me the chance to show you just how well these coatings adhere to the glass. Thank you very much.